really are cool, Kasane. Cool? You were a bit standoffish in the past, but you always just slice through those others. I wish I could do that. It's not really like me to say this, but I can't help but admire you. I think I'm starting to understand you better. What a coincidence. I feel like I know you better, too. Hey, Kasane. Back when you were a cadet, you didn't really talk to anyone besides Naomi. That's true. It's because I didn't find it necessary. But... I see. But when I think about those times, I'm really glad that you talk to me like this now. Because it means that you find it necessary now. It'll push me harder to become someone you can really rely on. I want to hear more about you. Alright, tell me more about you as well. Hanabi, about before, I said some insensitive things. It's okay. I'm sorry I just left like that. I've been thinking since then. I finally understand why you care about Yuito so much. So I want to help make your dream come true. What? What do you mean? I mean, you like Yuito. Whoa, whoa, let's talk outside, okay? Huh? Sure, I don't mind where we talk. Listen, you're mistaken. I don't like Yuito like that. If you don't like him, do you hate him? I, I don't hate him. I just don't like him as a man. Don't say things like that. I didn't mean anything by it. I also looked into some objective data just in case. Objective data? For example, the temperature of your flames is 10% hotter when you fight alongside Yuito. No way. Also, your gaze during missions. Outside of battle with others, you look at him 80% of the time. Oh! Okay, that's enough. I admit it. So you're saying you do like him? Yeah? I see. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone. I want to help you. Thanks. Honestly, I thought you liked Yuito too at first. You guessed wrong. The one who liked him wasn't me. It was my sister. Naomi? Yes. You look just like her when you talk about him. That's how I realized. Oh. If you like him, you should tell him. Huh? What are you talking about? You don't know what could happen if you wait. I want you to tell him how you feel. For Naomi. Oh, but I just can't! Why are you in such a hurry? We're OSF. If you don't tell him all you can, you may never get a chance. Kasane? I understand that you're serious about this, but I can't say it yet. Why? Because I don't think I'm good enough for him yet. Not as an OSF soldier, or as a person. You said it before, it's immature to depend on people. I said that because I didn't know you liked him. No, you were right. You nailed it. That's why I got angry. You and Yuito both have your goals and ideals, but I've just been following him. I'm a member of the OSF, but I've never considered what it is I fight for. I can't stay like this. I need to grow up and get strong enough to stand on my own. What's important is that I become the kind of person who doesn't just depend on people, but can protect and support them when they need it. Oh. Okay, I can understand that. I thought the same thing about Naomi. <sighs> I won't force you to tell him, but I'm rooting for you. Thanks. That makes me feel better. Friends really are important. You're welcome. It's rare for me to talk about a friend's love life. That seems pretty normal to me. Is something funny? Nothing's funny. I just think it's very interesting. It sounds like you think it's funny.
<sighs> I can't help myself from charging forward in battle. I know how much you're covering for me and my reckless tendencies. It's fine. Sometimes it makes it easier to fight when you're out in front like that. Well, I guess that's nice to know. I'll just have to be careful that I don't overdo it from now on. I'm going to be someone you can count on. I'm always counting on you. And you can always count on me. is okay. You're an intriguing person, Kasane. I apologize if that sounds strange. I meant it as praise. It didn't bother me. I'm glad. That practicality may be your greatest merit. You're an interesting person. I would like to learn more about you. Really? I think you're much more interesting than I am. Kasane, are you free to talk? Yes. What do you want to talk about today? Oh, not here. The kitchen is empty right now, so let's go there. Huh? All right, let's go. So, what's this about? It might be a touchy subject for you, since you are one of the design children made in Togetsu. Yes, what of it? How do you feel about your existence being the result of an experiment? How do I feel? I'm not sure how to answer that. Do you feel bad or conflicted about being an artificial existence? Well, it's something I learned just recently, so it honestly doesn't feel very real yet. Finding out my entire past was a lie definitely filled me with shock and anger. But it's not like my birth affects who I am now, so it hasn't been an issue. <laughs> You're steadfast. And that's precisely why I wanted to talk to you. What are you talking about? I... You don't have to force it. I can go to another room and wait for you to calm... Wait! I'm a dud. <sighs> I was born without powers, but they ran experiments on me when I was a child, which led to my gaining them. So while my situation is a little different from yours, I'm also an artificial psionic. It's something I've been struggling with for a while now. My power was given to me. It's not my own. Maybe it'll disappear one day, and I'll be nothing. The other day. That's why you asked what I'd do if I couldn't use my powers. Yes. I wanted to know how you felt since you were also created by an experiment. How do you think one can overcome their fear of possibly losing their powers one day? You're asking me because you want my frank opinion. Yes, that's right. Then I'll be honest with you. I don't understand why you're so worried. Is that because you're not a dud? No, I don't mean it like that. It's because I consider powers to be just one tool out of many. Just... one of many? If you can't use one, then just use another. There are other ways to fight besides powers. Even if I didn't have them, I'm sure I'd find another way to try to protect Naomi. Whether you have powers or not, your feelings won't change. What's important is not how you do it, but what you do. What you do? I see. <laughs> I should apologize. What are you talking about? I kept telling you before how similar you were to my brother, but I was wrong. My brother will greedily try to obtain powers to fulfill his own agenda, by force at times. You could say he is almost possessed by the powers. However, you don't care that much about them. 
If they're not available, you're flexible enough to choose a different method. I don't really understand, but you're basically saying you don't think Karin and I are similar anymore. Yes, because you're not. I was conflicted at first, but I'm glad I told you. It seems I was being a little too closed-minded. That might be similar to my brother. You've helped me feel a little better. Thank you. Don't mention it. Thank you for trusting me with your secret. You can talk to me anytime if you're ever struggling with something. Like your muscles. I don't think I'd ever be worried about my muscles, but I'll keep that in mind. Kasane? How long do you train each day? I think I train as much as necessary. Hmm... As far as I can see, you seem to have muscle. I'd like it if you allowed me to create a training program for you sometime. You and I think very differently. That's why I find you so interesting. I don't feel that way. Plus, you have an interesting way of looking at people. This is very nice. Kagero, can we talk? Oh, sorry. Can it wait till later? I was about to go work out in the gym. Okay, that's fine. Sorry to turn down your invitation. I have to work hard every day to be this awesome, so I can't afford to skip. I didn't know he worked out. I suppose I could do with a little working out, too. What? Nobody's here. Does that mean he pretended to come here and then turned invisible? That's strange. Haruka, you have a second? I don't see Kagero. Do you know where he went? What? You can't see him? Did he? Do you have an idea where he is? Kagero behaves himself in front of girls, but when it's a group of guys, he gets really inappropriate. He was talking with my brother about some perverted situations involving his invisibility, and I was mortified. Something about being able to peep in the shower room while invisible. That's disgusting. Well, I don't think he was serious, and I doubt he'd do that in the hideout. I'll go check his GPS location. Huh? These coordinates are outside the hideout. He left the compound and is on the move. It looks like he's heading towards Mizuhagawa. Why is he going there? I don't know. Maybe taking a walk? Hmm. I should go check it out. Okay. Be careful. According to Haruka, Kagura should be around here. There he is. He doesn't look like anything's wrong. Maybe she was right and he's just taking a walk. Hey now, am I really that untrustworthy? I guess I am. You noticed I was here? I didn't follow you because I was suspicious. I was just a little worried. Either way, you're right not to trust me, considering everything I've done up till now. So why did you lie to come here? Oh, I was feeling a bit bored. Sometimes I just want to be alone for a little while. And this was just one of those times. I'm fine, really. You don't look fine. At the very least, you're not like your usual self. Is something wrong? <sighs> hey, why do you go on living? Where did that come from? I don't understand the question. Your beloved sister Naomi died, right? I'm asking you how you can still go on living. What's your motivation? <sighs> it's already been 2,000 years. 2,000 years that I've lived in a world without my daughter. Can you imagine what that's even like? I'm just empty. I've lived this long to protect my daughter's existence. But once I do that, I don't have a reason to live. When I looked up at that moon, I'd feel hate, 
nostalgia, all sorts of things. But now, I feel nothing. It's like I'm already half dead. I guess that's what it means to lose the people we love. Is it different for you? I'm not empty. I'm only alive now because my sister protected me. That's why I can't let my life go to waste. I have to live on. For her. Because I lost my sister, I have to live to make sure that tragedy never happens again. Young people can be so positive. You're an old man who's lived for 2,000 years. If you've got time to feel sorry for yourself, why don't you do something meaningful? If you feel like your life is empty, then use the time you have to think about how to fill it. Don't call me an old man. Kids these days are so harsh. Did you really need to say all that? <sighs> this is all just a joke to you. Don't put it like that. This is my style. Fill the emptiness, you know? You know, getting left behind by time really sucks. It's a lot harder than you can imagine. I came all the way out here because I didn't want you to see me down like this. I'm so lame. Yes, very lame. Your daughter would think so too. Now that's really depressing. Fine, it's time to bust out the super cool Kagero to win back you and my daughter. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. You really have grown, and I don't mean your height. You mean as a person? Yeah. I've known a lot of people, and there aren't many that I really trust. I guess I can't talk much about being trustworthy, but you're really turning into a good person. You have a pretty good understanding of who I am. I can just tell without you saying it. You talk too much. However, I'm glad we both understand each other. Hey, you free now? Yes, what is it? There's something I want to ask you. Come with me. Why did you bring me all the way here? Because nobody will overhear us. Look at this. That's the analysis from a recent fight. Don't worry about the details. I want you to look at the other kill rate. Your numbers have been improving lately. You must be seeing results from your training. Yeah, but you're doing even better than me. Not by much. It's all within the margin of error. Listen, that small difference you're talking about is something I've never been able to make up for. It doesn't make sense to me that no matter how hard I study and work, I still can't beat you. It's time I swallow my pride and ask you, what kind of secret training are you doing? Secret training? I'm not doing anything like that. No, there has to be some sort of secret strategy you're using. I told you I'm not doing anything like that. If you watch me, you can see that I'm not doing anything special. Are you saying that this is just a difference in our natural abilities? How? If that's true, then it doesn't matter what I do. I'll never be able to catch up to you. I don't really understand. Is there a reason you need to catch up to me? I should just be some baggage the rest of my life? I don't think so. I hate to admit it, but everyone in this platoon are top talents, even Kagero. I'm the only one that's different. I'm nothing compared to the rest of you. I have to work myself to the bone if I'm even going to keep up. And it's paying off. I don't see you as baggage. Even after looking at the data? No matter how hard I train, this is the reality. If this is my limit, then I can't stay in this platoon! Shiden, what should I do once I catch up to him? I don't know how to tell him how I feel. Kasane? Shiden just rushed out of here. Yes, I'm sorry. It seems like I've upset him again. You don't need to apologize. I know you must have tried communicating with him. You two have such different upbringings and perspectives. You have to assume you'll have disagreements. That means he'll never understand where I'm coming from. Right. What do you want him to do? 
What do you mean? I want him to continue fighting with us as a team. Have you ever tried telling him? Why don't you catch up to him and say just that? I have a feeling he might get angry again, but I haven't thought of a better way to reach out to him. Okay, I'll go after him. Do you have any idea where he might have gone? Shiden is heading towards Seiran. Haruka, how do you know his location? I'm the team's operator. He just rushed out of the hideout, so I figured you two got into another fight. Good call. That's exactly what happened. Thank you for telling me. Good luck. I hope it goes well. There you are. Kasane? Why did you come after me? Get lost! Where are you going? <sighs> I understand that you're troubled. I can see how discouraging it is to work hard and not see results. But running away just because you couldn't become stronger than someone? That's not the kind of person you are. You just overestimated me. This is what I'm really like. I'm not even that good. But my pride makes me constantly worry about everyone around me. I put on a facade because I'm scared I'm inferior to everyone else. Don't take this the wrong way, but why are you so obsessed with being better than everyone? How useful an individual is depends on circumstances. Have you ever been unable to control your own abilities? You mean my power? Yeah. When I was young, I caused an accident because of it. Nobody got hurt, but I was just lucky. The next time it happens, someone might get hurt. Worst case scenario, people might even die. I put on these insulation gloves and trained hard to control my power, but I can't get rid of that nagging feeling. Even back when I was still a kid, I've never been able to overcome my own weakness. So you feel inadequate? I've never found you lacking. Our platoon needs your composure, analytic skills, and judgment. Please, come back to us. I want to keep fighting alongside you. I... Another warning. Kasane, Shiden, others have been confirmed inside Seiron City. Others? There was no forecast. Sometimes the forecasts are wrong. Look, there are still citizens inside who weren't able to evacuate in time. Let's go. We have to save them. Yeah. Haruka, send us the other's location. That's right near my home. What? You didn't know either, Haruka? Is there a suppression force heading there now? There's a patrol in the area. They should prioritize evacuating the nearby civilians. My family should have already evacuated by now. We should head to where they appeared. You must be worried about your family. I don't need your concern. A member of the OSF should prioritize saving the citizens over their own family. You can drop the act. If you lose them without doing anything, you'll regret it for the rest of your life. Okay, I'll go. Yes, let's hurry. Wait, you're coming with me? Obviously. Hurry up or I'm leaving you behind. Hey! Why are you taking the lead? I'll support you from here. You two be careful. What's going on? How are there still this many others? The reports were wrong. There aren't even suppression forces. Let's go help. Wait, will we be able to hold back that many others? Shouldn't we wait for reinforcements? If we don't act now, they'll start attacking people. We have to slow them down here. Against this many? That's suicide! Who else is going to save them? This isn't a question about if we can do it. We have to. Damn it. I know that. Captain Seto would say the same thing. There's no guarantee the civilians will be able to get away before the reinforcements arrive. My parents might... 
so we're the only ones who can stop them here. Captain Seto, give me strength. Let's go. You better pull your own weight. Right back at you. Let's do this. Show me what you got. Let's go, Kagero. This one looks strong. Everyone, be careful. You can trust Aim me. Aim for that spot. I'll do it. Check. Got it. Go. We'll corner it. You got this. Leave it to me. Not quite as good as me, though. Let's go, Kagero. Johnny, go! You can trust me. Got it! It's over. You got it. That was good. Not quite as good as me, though. Go! Useless. Check me. Let's do this. Enemy. Got it. It's over. It's done. I knew there were a lot, but this... Where's your usual bravado? If you're tired, you can run back to the hideout. I'll take care of this. Is that supposed to provoke me? How oh, childish. But I'll go along with it this time. Whatever. Now let's finish. I'll do it! Finish this. I'll support you. You can trust me. Nice! The enemy doesn't see us. Check me. Someone's covered in oil. You can burn easily, so watch out for fire attacks. No way! Keep your guard up. You got this. I'm off. That's all of them. Are you all right? Of course I'm all right. Who do you think I am? I was careful not to let any of them get away. I'm pretty sure we managed to stop them all here. Haruka, this is Shiden. We exterminated the others that appeared at our current location. Are there any more sightings? I was just about to contact you. We've confirmed that all others in Ceyron have been exterminated. You two really pulled off quite the feat. Good job. There's a rescue team headed your way. All the civilians have been accounted for at the evacuation site. Zero casualties. That's good news, Shiden. Thank goodness. Why don't you go see your family? No. I just needed to know they're okay. Then let's head back to the hideout. Sorry. You did well out there and made some good calls. You really pulled your weight. Enough with the flattery. I was too busy fighting to think about anything else. That just shows how much you were able to focus. Neither of us had the time to think about anything. I guess so. But this wasn't an official deployment. There won't be any data to evaluate. Does that upset you? No. I feel accomplished. I don't even regret putting on Captain Seto's mask. If that's how you feel, then that's worth more than any analysis data. You're right. This is the first time I've ever felt that there's more to an encounter than stats. I think I'll stay on the team for a little while longer. You can stay as long as you want. <laughs> it's only as long as I feel I have something to gain. This platoon isn't as bad as I thought. I'm glad to hear you say that. Thanks. I'm not saying you're suited to be a leader or anything. As much as I hate to admit it, there's no one else that could do it. 
You're babbling so much I can't follow. What's your point? I... I mean... You're doing a good job. For now, at least. Spend enough time with anyone, and it doesn't matter how much you don't get along. You somehow know what they're thinking, right? I never said I disliked you, but I do agree that we've come to know each other. Kasane, you're kind of like a lone wolf. You mean that I'm isolated? No, not like that. Sorry, maybe that was a bad choice of words. I meant that you can take care of yourself. I really think that's amazing. I think I got to know you a little better. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you did. Oh, Kasane. Perfect. There's something I wanted to talk to you about. What is it? I just wanted to say thank you. I owe you my life. You owe me your life? I don't know what you mean. Oh, you know, at Arahabaki. You saved me when I almost lost my memory. Oh. Actually, it wasn't just me that saved you. It was Hanabi and all of us. I'm grateful to everyone. But the only reason everyone was there in the first place was because you brought them. If even one of them hadn't been, my memory might not be complete. So, I appreciate your help. Thank you. It's a bit of an exaggeration, but I suppose I should humor him a bit. Alright, I accept your thanks. Yeah, it means a lot. You know, it's kind of weird just talking normally like this. Talking normally is weird? I mean, we were enemies for a while, and now we're fighting together. Life sure is full of strange, unexpected things. Sometimes, I think that the fact that two people exist with the same power, in the same time, at the same place, might mean it's fate. You can go ahead and interpret it however you want, but I don't believe in fate. <laughs> That's the Kasane I know. I guess it is kind of an exaggeration. Well, I would say it's more logical than an exaggeration. We're only here because we chose to be. Whenever I hear the word fate, it just sounds like something given to us. Oh, that's not really what I meant, but I see how it could sound like that. When I think of fate, I think of something from a past life, or like there's a strange power at work. But yeah, I just don't feel like I entirely chose this. What do you mean? Fate does seem like something being forced on us, but we meet and part with so many people all the time. All of that put together makes me who I am now. Like, my ability to choose is thanks to everyone. If that's what you mean, I feel the same. If I were by myself, I wouldn't have been able to choose this path. He has a good point, I'll give him that. It's true that I'm here thanks to my sister. Oh. Right, I haven't told you yet. It's about Nagi. He's dead. What? Nagi? You mean that Nagi? What happened? He was subjected to the government's personality rehabilitation. And, well, he attacked me when he was ordered to take my brain. I thought there was something I could do for him, a way to bring him back. But I was too late. I couldn't save him. I can't even imagine how hard that must have been, for you and Nagi. He... He was a good guy. A really good guy. He didn't deserve that fate. He got roped into the government's conspiracy just because he knew me. Even if he weren't friends with you, I'd imagine Nagi would still find himself involved if he joined the OSF. But if he hadn't become friends with me, then the chance of this happening would have been much lower. It's my fault he lost his life. Nagi was his own person. He made his own choices in life. He wasn't an extra in yours. Even if his life came to a painful end, 
I think it's arrogant to say it was only because of you. Also, I don't know how he truly felt, but I'm guessing he wouldn't want his friendship with you denied. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go through life not being friends with him either. That's why I wanted to save him. It's hard when someone dies. Since I've joined OSF, I've lost so many people. It's shocking at first, but it really starts to sink in later. I'll never get to see or talk to them again. Before, I could always just use brain talk to see and talk to them whenever I wanted. Even so, the time you spent together wasn't for nothing. You can remember them whenever you want. We can't let it be for nothing. You said so yourself. The people we meet and the relationships we build, that's what makes us who we are. You're right. I guess we just have to keep on living, embracing the memories of those who've passed. I'm really glad I didn't lose my memory. Thanks again. I'm glad we talked. I feel better too. We should have another talk like this soon. We're back on the same team again. As long as it has some meaning, sure. I don't really like small talk. <laughs> That's fair enough. Looks like you're still you. I sure I'm glad we're working together again. Yes, me too. He seems to have matured in some ways. And there's been so much going on lately. For both him and me. I have a long way to go. It's painfully obvious when I fight alongside you. I don't think we're that different. That actually might be true, but there's a whole lot I need to learn. You helped me see some parts of myself I couldn't see on my own. In any case, you really motivate me to get better. My impression of you changed a bit. Maybe I understand you better. I don't know what your idea of me was, but yes, I suppose we understand each other a little better than before. You're really strong, Kasane. I think you're pretty strong, too. I don't mean in battle. I mean mentally. Nothing ever gets to you. I always get overwhelmed by everything outside of battle. That's why I want to learn from you. Do we understand each other a bit? I feel like we've come to understand each other a little better than that. I should talk to Gamma. How are you doing, Kasane? What do you mean? Could you be more specific? Like physically? No, never mind. It's not a big deal. I understand the kind of person you are. I feel the same way. I hope we're able to interact a little more. Do you remember the other day when I asked you how you were doing? Yes. What was that about? I'm sorry for the strange question. 
I just didn't know what to say to a young person. I only wanted to know how you were doing. If everything's okay, then that's good. You're a trustworthy individual. I know that now. That's an honor coming from a veteran like yourself. Everyone, Major General Fubuki is up. Seems like he's all fine. Says he's ready to talk. I see. I get the basic idea. The expansion of the Kunad Gate and Togetsu's schemes. You did a good job gathering all this information. What we need to focus on now is stopping Togetsu's plans. If we let them be, they'll just send someone else after us. And then civilians could end up getting hurt. Do you have any idea how to stop them? Well, I do have one idea. What if we were to shut down Babe, Togetsu's control computer? The Red Strings research, execution of the plan, that's all Babe. So you're saying if we can shut Babe down, that will stop Togetsu's plans? All right. You're the ones best suited to make a decision with the information we have, so I'll follow your lead. I'll leave Togetsu to you, but if there's anything I can do, let me know. Could you act as a go-between for the new Himuka government and the Seiron provisional government for us? The new Himuka government is in a state of confusion. Resolving that could restrict Togetsu's movements. So you want me to get the governments to agree to a ceasefire? If you can fan the underlying insecurity and suspicions the politicians have for Togetsu well enough, they'll definitely say yes. Right, I'll give it a shot. I'm not a politician though, so I don't know if they'll listen to me. I'll use my influence as a regiment commander the best I can. I'll get ready for negotiations right away. Fubuki, don't get yourself into trouble. You too, sis. Take care of them. I think we're safe leaving Suo and Seiron to Major General Fubuki. So, we're infiltrating Togetsu. What's our battle plan? Kagero and Kyoka have useful information on the area. We should use it to make a plan. Oh, sorry. Do you mind if I leave that to you, Major? Yuito, I want to talk to you before you go to Togetsu. Okay. What is it? You don't know? Hey, how about we go somewhere else? Um, let's see. I'll wait for you in Kikuchiba. Come when you have the time. Kagura? Sorry, I'll be right back. I'll leave the strategizing to you. Hey, Yuito! Hanabi, wait. Sugumi, everyone. There's something I have to tell you. You too, Kasane? This is about Kagura, right? We should listen. No. Kagero killed Yuito's dad? I don't want to believe it. There is much I want to say, but perhaps we should follow him. I worry about leaving them alone. That's why I told all of you. We should go to Kikuchiba too.
Don't fail. I'm borrowing this. reading. If Yuito learns the truth, he won't try to kill Kagura, will he? Let's hurry and catch up to them. Thanks, Yumi. Leave it to me. Together! Let's take it down while it's burning. Yuito, Kagero. Did we interrupt you? Kagero, let me see your wounds. I'll try to fix you up. Thanks, Sukumi. <sighs> Did everyone hear that? About my father? Yeah, Kasane told us. Are you alright? I guess so. For now. Please, tell me what happened to him. Right. Where to begin? Kagero, this is just a conjecture on my part. But wasn't it orders from Togetsu? It was indeed. I'm an assassin sent on a mission from Togetsu to infiltrate Suo. I see. So you weren't hired by the Seiron government. It seems Chairman Sumeragi was more distrustful of Togetsu than the former chairman. They considered him a threat. So you assassinated him for Togetsu? If I wanted to crush Togetsu's plans, Babe's plans, I couldn't be seen as a troublemaker. So it was self-defense. Had I done a little better, though, I could have fooled them and gotten by not having to assassinate anyone. Look, I'm really sorry about Chairman Sumeragi. If you tell me to face the consequences, I will. But first, I want to finish dealing with Togetsu. I know that's asking a lot, but please. Who is the she you mentioned? Is she the reason? I suppose I have to tell you. 
I have a family I left on the moon. A wife and a daughter. I first met my wife when we were getting ready to emigrate to Earth and had our daughter. If emigration no longer happens, my daughter no longer exists. I won't let that happen. That's why I have to do everything I can to stop them from using the red strings. It was all to protect your daughter. This was 2,000 years ago. She's been dead a long time, so I'm sure you think it all sounds silly. But I don't want my family, my daughter's existence, to be erased. If your family is so important to you, why did you leave them on the moon? You could have just brought them to Earth with you. I could have if I was a normal colonist, but that wasn't the case. I was an agent placed among the colonists. My job was to make the redevelopment of Earth fail. Why? The moon spent a thousand years fixing the Earth's environment, to sabotage it when it was almost finished. Did things change on the moon? If my memory serves me correctly, I heard that something flew in from outer space. You don't know? It's kind of a long story, but I'll tell you what happened 2,000 years ago. It was when Yakumo Sumeragi and the colonists immigrated to Earth. A comet passed close by the moon. The comet left behind the unknown substance called other particles in space. Gravity then began pulling those particles down to Earth and the moon. Earth was still mostly unpopulated, so the effects were unknown, but the moon began to have cases of people turning into monsters. Monsters? Do you mean... Yes. Metamorphosis. If a living creature comes into contact with the other particles, they change into aberrations. Into others. At the time, the redevelopment of Earth had moved to the final step of gravity control. If that were sabotaged, we could stop the other particles falling to the moon. Basically, that was the moon faction's plan. And I was an agent who had been given secret orders to carry it out. Yakumo Sumeragi and the rest of the colonists were already on Earth. You were just gonna leave them to die? It's terrible, I know. But people like Yakumo resisted the moon's wishes, and the plan ended in failure. So the moon put Plan B into action. They pushed the other particles toward Earth, surrounding it, and making it so we couldn't return home. Other particles surrounding Earth. The extinction belt. I think it's safe to say that the moon's space technology is far ahead of ours. The moon was overpopulated at the time, and I heard most of the people went to Earth. It was probably a plan to reduce the population. I was cut off from the moon, so staying on Earth was the only option. I don't know what happened on the moon after that. The metamorphosis might have spread. More people like my sister. Even so, I believed that my family was safe and joined Togetsu so I could return to the moon. I went in and out of cold sleep many times, trading off with comrades as we searched for a way to break through the extinction belt. But after several awakenings, I realized Togetsu had changed their plans. There was just no way I could allow them to reset history. That's why becoming a traitor was the path I chose. I understand. My father wasn't perfect. He would often make mistakes, especially when it came to how he led the government. But he was family, the only father I had. I just can't forgive you for killing him. But it's because of that. I understand your desire to protect your family. So let's stop Togetsu together. I will always resent you. But I think I can stand up to them with you. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. I might have done something distasteful to further my goal, if I had taken a wrong turn somewhere as well. So, I think I understand a little bit of your actions. You know, you're much more mature than I am. Or maybe I'm just too immature. I guess in the end, I made you decide after all. So lame. Let me help you stop Togetsu.
Are you finished? Kasane, I caused you so much trouble. I'm sorry. Stop acting so meek all of a sudden. It's weird. Kasane, I thought you were the one who killed my father. <laughs> I'm sorry I doubted you. It's just as much my fault for not saying anything. When I wanted to kill you, I thought that having you hate me would keep me focused on the task. I guess that makes sense. So, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, okay. That's enough talk for now, then. I'm sure you all have your own questions. Even I don't understand what's going on. But we have to work together and focus on what needs to be done. If that is your decision, I don't think we have anything else left to say. All right. So our main mission is to go to Togetsu as soon as we can and stop Babe. What do you think of using my power to make everyone invisible in order to infiltrate it? We should probably assume that Kagero and I are both known traitors by now. We don't have time to dwell on it. It's dangerous. But I believe Kagero's plan has potential. Togetsu probably doesn't expect an attack from such a small force. Let's consider it a sneak attack. Okay, let's do it. First, we'll climb Hiano Mountain and get close to Togetsu. <sighs> that was not good on my nerves. Don't scare me like that. I'm glad you're both okay. Wataru, Haruka, I'm sorry I made you worry. <laughs> 